Good evening, everyone from Adelaide, South Australia. As usual, I'm back here today to inform you uh, about updates from various institutions based in Australia. Uh, today, I'm here with uh, Mr. SEU from uh, Study Group. He's the partner sales manager at Study Group. And today, we're going to focus um, our discussions on Charles Sturt University Study Center, which is managed by Study Group and has campuses in Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. Uh, students from various countries around the world have been studying at study, uh, Charles Sturt uh, University Study Centers such as Nepal, India, China, Japan, Latin America, Malaysia, and Taiwan. Um, welcome, Essie. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ash. Thank you for inviting me today. Yeah. For those of our students who would like to know a little bit more about uh, CSU Study Centers, would you be able to give us a little bit of background of CSU Study Center and, and, and the reasons that one student should choose to study at CSU? Sure, sure. Um, CSU Study Centers, we are located in the heart of uh, most of the exciting cities of Australia um, and then we have a reputation for preparing those international students for their future. The focus of CSU is always been um, industry focused courses. Um, in Brisbane, Melbourne and Sydney, um, we offer the most popular courses that are welcomed or demanded by the international students. After, especially after the students graduation, that is not the end of the journey um, with us. We also provide industry focused um, career supports, for example, a, um, a work placement in the right position for the students. So that is um, uh, what we are, what we've been known for years. Um, and just a bit of background that um, uh, we offer the courses mainly in business, accounting, commerce, and information technology. So there's a bit of a summary. So basically, uh, CSU Study Centers focuses on industry uh, focused courses. Those courses which are always in, have always been in demand with international students, such as business accounting, commerce, and information technology. And the good thing about it is that uh, there are uh, work placement opportunities built into the courses. Thank you for that, AC. No problem. Now, uh, we are going to focus a little bit more on, on um, because I think prospective students would also like to know about how um, the institutions have transitioned from offline uh, to online and how the students have um, coped with it because I think even the prospective students would have to probably do some form of blended learning in, in the coming days. So if you can just give us a bit of a background on how uh, your institution transitioned uh, from offline to online and the support systems available to the students and also how the students, the most importantly, how students cope with the whole offline to online experience. Please. Okay, thanks Sash. So um, the number one thing I would like to say is we don't really call our course as an online course. We actually um, is building this study method we call a virtual classroom. It is online, however, uh, what we see ourselves different to the other, inst other institutions we, is we are trying every possibility to deliver the training as the in-person teaching. So we call it virtual classroom. So until our students are able to study on campus, they um, can begin their studies through our virtual classroom um, temporarily. And we believe um, this uh, virtual classroom won't last very long as the um, uh, good control of coronavirus uh, situation in Australia. The, this um, virtual classroom actually ensures that uh, no time is lost and it guarantees a place within our highly competitive programs on campus. So our students should have um, a confidence that our virtual learning platform will deliver the same high level of quality teaching and student support. Our program will continue to be um, delivered by the same expert 
academic teams who have helped thousands of students progress successfully to their chosen degree in the, uh, in the past. Our virtual learning platform maintain a high quality learning experience as well, uh, which is developed by um, expert um, user experience team. This combines um, live classes alongside recorded lessons, online social calendars, group work platforms, and live chat forums, which means a student is not alone when they study this, uh, our virtual class. It's not like just a student sitting in front of a computer, looking at the slides and playing the records, and that's it. We also kept our group work where students can interact with their classmates, interact with our student tutors, interact with our lecturers to have um, those hands-on experiences. And um, by delivering this virtual class, attendance and participation will also be tracked. It doesn't mean that um, you participate in a virtual learning if you don't turn on your computer and that's how you can do that later. But we encourage all the students to attend the class like how they do um, uh, previously to ensure that we, um, in the, the best, uh, act, um, best possibility to give those uh, in-classroom experience, even though it's still virtual. The, um, uh, so we can, our teaching staff can monitor how students are engaging and giving um, help when the other student need it, not just the you need it, but also when the other student need it. We are confident in our product, however, we still offer a 21 day money back satisfaction offer um, to all our UK and NZ partners, which includes CSU. This is a, a really industry leading policy and built on the confidence that we have, um, we have uh, in our teaching staff and also our online virtual platform. So which means if you're, if you're not happy with your study experience within 21 days, you get your money back. Okay. Yeah. So um, if, you're, um, if you're coming from a, a higher risk um, region uh, or um, uh, if you're not very uh, confident with your visa uh, once the borders open, then we have this covered as well. So for CSU, we will refund the cost of the tuition fee if the visa is rejected once the border opens and you apply a visa. Okay. So how we do is we do not um, give COEs at the moment once a student uh, successfully um, applied and accepted offer and made the payment, we don't give a COE because it's meaningless. Um, even the student get a visa, they, they are not able to enter Australia. So um, we hold on the uh, COE process and once the board is opened and students ready to apply for a student visa, we will release the COE immediately. We run a, a GT chat, that's for you Ash, we run a, a brief GT chat for now for offshore students. And once they are ready to get a COE, we will do the comprehensive GT as the same standard as before. We, will, we are not adding any clause, we are not um, cutting any course, it's the same criteria. Okay. okay. So yeah, so um, by starting the first term through the online learning, uh, we'll offer the students significant cost of saving as well, and give parents some comfort that their children's safety is not compromised. A lot of, uh, that is actually the concern of a lot of our parents. They, because they're not in Australia, like you and me, we are in Australia. We are not really wearing masks anymore. We go into the shopping malls, we are uh, going on the street and uh, uh, we know the situation is, um, how can I say this? It's never, a, it's never a serious, I'll say, because um, we do have um, quarantines and we do have volunteer um, uh, quarantines, but we never saw cases around us and we never saw any panic in the community. Um, but we understand that parents are 
might reading the news and uh, they look at the numbers and they don't know uh, the situation here. So by doing this virtual classroom, actually giving the parents some comfort that um, they have control over their child's safety and well-being, and that's something we also would like to um, we also would like to see.